Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a a pseudo unboxing of my Justin Murphy Warner uh, Spectator Derby shoe that I really like. Why I call this a pseudo unboxing? Because uh, I usually buy shoes and never wear them. So uh, <laughs> these are brand new shoes. You can see from the bottom. So I never wore them before. Uh, I don't know why. Perhaps I'm just a shoe collector. Uh, I bought this like a, a year or two years. I don't remember. Uh, but I really like it. Uh, so let's con consider this. This is an unboxing their new shoes um, okay again welcome back to my channel and uh, today we we'll talk about Justin Murphy uh, let's dive into the review Okay, first look. We have a classic round toe design. It's pretty round. And you can see the stitches. This is a Gucci welted shoe. I really like this mahogany uh, color. It combines well with the snuff color which is pretty orangish and you see the wing tip let's touch the leather nice suede, very neat and nice full grain leather in mahogany very neat and smooth we move to the side you can see the long wing this is a blucher, long wing blucher, very sleek, again at the side you can see the stitches, you see the punch holes, very nicely done, stitches around the vamp, very perfect. We move to the rear quarter, which is the back of the shoe. Uh, sits tightly on the heels. We have some design detail here. With a split design, there's a split uh, stitch at the very middle of the back. Sorry for the camera, it's auto-focus. My apologies. And the heel only has a very tiny gap to the bottom of the shoe where the uh, leather is again long wing all the way from the very very uh, front of the shoe to the back of the shoe again the suede feels very good two different colors contrasting but uh, accommodate for each other very nice combination the color looks pretty um, pretty good together. And arch support, we got much we got much arch support here. Sorry for my English. Uh, the the arch and the curve, the curvature is very nice. Sorry for the autofocus again. Contrasting color, wing tip. Very nice design. All the way, the long wing all the way extends to the back of the shoe. Why this is a blucher? Because we have a small piece of leather which forms the the leather where the sh, uh, sh, the lace hole is. The lace holes are that this leather is sewed. Is sewn to the uh, upper of the, the band. And moving to the bottom, rubber sole, 
This is actually a combination sole where you got leather and rubber, where the rubber is at the very bottom to add more traction, and there is the leather piece at the very front of the hill, and back of the hill there's rubber for more tractions. Again, you can see the threads, which indicates that this shoe is a Gucci Welty shoe that you can resell many, many times. Again, arch support, pretty neat. And there you can go. Uh, you can see the uh, combination sole, where you got multiple layers of leather and rubber. A closer look at here, we have nice combination of suede and full grain leather. You can see the medallion. This is a, this is called the medallion, which is uh, this bunch of holes of different shape and sizes. They form the medallion to add more uh, visual texture to the shoe. And here we can see the threads, which indicates this shoe again is a Gucci welted shoe. Uh, we're moving forward to examine the vamp part of the shoe. This is a four eyelets lacing system. You can see four shoelace holes. It's a four eyelet lacing system, and you can even see some uh, perforation holes along that uh, along that that ladder where the shoe lacing holes are. The leather texture is just so neat, really soft. And overall, this shoe is pretty casual. It's a very casual silhouette. And uh, because it's a sweet and leather combination spectator shoe, a closer look, you can even see the small holes on the leather very very high quality smooth leather long wing swings all the way from toe to, to the rear quarter and they use yellow threads here to add more visual details and color to the shoe not to mention uh, a lot of holes and perforation You can see the small perforation holes here and there of different sizes to add more visual details and elegance to the shoe to make it a very very casual silhouette. And we move forward to the rear quarter. Why there is this gap that is relatively large and significant comparing to a bespoke because they used 360 degree Gujo welted that naturally makes the heel gap more significant. Again, this heel gap between the heels and the leather are just because they used 360 degree Gujo welted technique. And here we have some more details, yellow threads and a split back design comparing to the split toe we even use yellow threads in this stitch this small split stitch overall the heel is finished very perfectly and we have a closer look at the inner side of the shoe Again, very good constructed arch, yellow threads, perforation holes, and there is this English split. They call that a split because it usually appears in English made butcher. 
That's a very uh, significant feature of a blue church shoe. Again, very nice arch. And uh, here we have different layers of the outsole. We have leather and rubber as we talked before. We, uh, we look at the bottom of the shoe, which is the outsole. You can see, obviously, the thread and rubber sole here. Pretty neat texture, very neat texture to add traction. And we have the brand name, Johnston Murphy. And there is one piece of leather stack at the very bottom of the heels and rubber finishing at the very end of the heel. Very nice bottom. Very neat leather medallion as we talked before. In this angle, you can see the small holes on the leather. Very soft. And the color mahogany presents itself, especially in the toe. And we have this very nice constructed wing, a wing tip here, and a suede. And of course, this is a 4 eyelet lacing system design shoe. And here we move to examine some of the features even closely. Great medallion. Great finish. The threads are all in one color, which is light yellow. Nice mahogany colored leather. Nice stitching, a nice arch. And uh, here I play the shoe a little bit and having some fun here, I put on a Allen Edmonds light purple waxed shoelaces. I think this color suits the shoe very well. And here also from Allen Edmonds, a waxed light green shoelaces. Very nice. Again, here we have our socks and shoelaces pairing. I think these two colors suit the shoe very well. I got green and purple. Very nice color combination with the, with the shoe itself, which is mahogany and light orange. Okay, that's pretty much for today. I hope you liked the video and once again, if you like this channel, please, please subscribe. And I will bring you more and more deals information and more and more uh, quality shoes information that you definitely will like. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.